my hands I'm holding a truly spectacular guitar. For uh, numerous reasons. But first of all, it's the last Stratocaster made by legendary Leo Fender, the man who brought us the Stratocaster. The famous guitar that he created in 1954 when he was working for Fender Corporation and which he famously left in 1965 to continue his journey in Music Man and later on in Jandel Company, which he founded in 1980. The main feature of this guitar, and the first one to me in the eye is, of course, it's pickup configuration. You see this three Z-shaped pickups. And at first it's like strike you with this futuristic design, but if you take a minute to think about it, you've actually seen this before. You've seen this uh, on a precision bass, which was made even before the Stratocaster in 1951. The basic idea here is to divide the single uh, pickup into two different coils, so that each coil only picks the sound of three strings but uh, being wired like uh, basically a humbucker. So this is reverse polarity and this is reverse wounding. They create this hum cancelling effect which is sought after by millions of other guitarists in a Stratocaster. But still they remain this really clear, really bright, truly single tone. So this is basically like a holy grail of single pickups. And also there is another model that you probably know about. This is Fender Electric 12. This one is not so well known, but I'm sure a lot of you have seen it before. Like, it uh, usually comes up in a lot of music videos, and you've definitely seen pictures of Jamie Page with this guitar. Uh, they are pretty famous, but only a few of them were released uh, back in the 60s, and they are being reissued a lot, like these days. So, this idea lingered on in Leo's mind for long, long decades until finally it's found its true form in 1989. Uh, there were two versions of this guitar, one called Comanche 6 and the second one called Comanche 5. Comanche 5 is actually pretty close to the modern, that's uh, to the one that you see in my hand right now, and Comanche 6 is a special one, <laughs> because it had six individual switches for each of the coils, so that you can bring up any pickup configuration you could think of. You could have like one call from here and one call from here and also bring on one call from here but that's just too much variety so it transformed to the to this one so starting with the bridge it has this pretty unique unit uh, named dual falcon tremolo and it was created in 1981 82 like in the first years of Jan Del to replace all the bridges on uh, all the guitars with tremolo and it was around the same time that Floyd Rose created his famously Floyd Rose tremolo. And it was one of the first uh, tremolos on two screws in the world. So basically at the time of creation, it was one of the most stable uh, tremolos in the world. And it remains this way till this day. Uh, so they are specifically shaped to fit one and other. And they're just beautifully machined to remain in tune whatever you do with your guitar. And if you move up, to the headstock. You can see here the machined heads which are also created in a pretty special way. These are not your regular machined heads, so you see these posts, they are actually cone shaped, so there's a really wide diameter at the top and really narrow at the bottom. So when you set up a new set of strings, you get this really cool effect as it's the string is getting automatically dragged down to the bottom of the post. So you get this perfect angle at the nuts, you see this breaking point. Uh, so you don't have to put a second retainer here, since it's already right angle, so there's no bass, and it's also just a clean, really cool touch. It's just a little detail that makes everything a little better. And that's what was Lego all about, just fine-tuning these little details, not creating something fancy and striking your eye, but to do something in the background that nobody will even like notice, but that will do the work perfectly. That everything this man was about. And finally, it's time to move to this area, to the circuit here. 
and the sounds it's create. And once again, even though you see the familiar volume tone tone pattern here, it's also doing a totally different job here. So let's get down to business. Volume up, neck pickup only, and we get this marvelous, bassy, really full sound and tone. So. It's much more beefy uh, than a classic strat tone and it just fills the room, it just fills everything you have around you like <laughs> you don't even need any, any reverb because it's like wet on its own and it's kind of hard to explain, it's really so like muscular, I don't know, but uh, still if you want to get uh, some really vintage like 60s style tones uh, you have this Pretty cool knob. So this is not just your regular tone knob. If you roll it down, you cut the bass part of the sound. So it's uh, kind of acts like high pass filter. Uh, so this is 100 percent, and I roll it down, and I get this. Everything you expect from a like vintage funky strat. Like, but I guess the sweet spot is somewhere in between, so it's kind of too thin, but somewhere in between, like, like on three and four, four, I get. Yeah, that said sound good to me. Okay, <laughs> that's pretty really cool. So moving down to the fourth position, you get this really nice bluesy tone, like you no. Know, this glass quality to it, really, really traditional sounding, but still with this extra punch which is provided by these pickups, which are in fact called MFD pickups. And all MFD pickups are equipped with ceramic magnets, so this is one of the reasons that it has this extra punch, extra gain to them, they're just higher output than regular Alnico magnets. But still, uh, they are really bluesy, it's not getting into like rock or metal territory, even though it has extra punch, it's still really traditional in sound quality. And further down, the third position, we get this little geese tone out of it. It's starting to quack a little bit, it's starting to move towards the telecaster tone. It starts provoking you to do all this like plucking things and extra picking and heavy picking like It forces you to get into this like high dynamic range <laughs> and it's getting really funky. Even further down, the second position, so this classic funky stuff when it's been accelerated by the bridge pickup. Hey. <laughs> And finally, the bridge position, which is like really good for like heavy riffing and a rock song and something like. It's like. <laughs> super clear and super like shotgun into your head quality to it like just crazy <laughs> and uh the stuff is getting really uh, even more funky with the use of this switch so when the switch is on on I mean let us look it upwards in first and fifth position you get these two pickups working together so neck and bridge and this gives you a really scooped middle tone there's really have a bottom is really bright uh, high end uh, and it's 
it's pretty cool because it, it's sounding huge, but still super clean and super crispy. And it's uh, really useful when you're playing in a band and when you just use neck. You're getting a, bit, uh, a little bit too low in the mix. Uh, you're getting covered by other instruments and you just want to shine through a little bit. So in this position, you flip the switch and you get this extra help of the bridge pickup. And finally, my personal favorite one is uh, when this switch is up and position is number two or number four. You get all three pickups sounding together. I know this sounds silly. Three is more than two, it's better. But it just works fine. It just works the right way because uh, when all three is on, you get like mind blowing. Just, but I, I don't know, I don't have any words to describe this. It's just so full, it's so warm, it's so cozy, and like you feel at home. You just don't want to get into all this position, you just want to tape it off <laughs> and just play like this to the rest of your days. Uh, so, just one more thing to make it even more fun is the dynamic range, which is basically uh, like the main thing of this uh, MFD pickups. So uh, you may notice them in a lot of other Gendal models. They're also in ASAT, they're also in Dokhini, they're also in the Skyhawk guitars. And uh, since they're ceramic magnets and they're special wiring and they're special geometry to them, they're really dynamic responsive. Uh, so what it means, it means that when you're playing like really with a low attack, when you're playing uh, just barely touching the strings, it totally understands what you mean. Uh, it's just, uh, it just speaks really gently. But as soon as your right hand starts going out of control, it's totally on for the challenge because It's not just getting like louder and quieter. It's uh, changing the sound quality. It's changing the tone dramatically, from mellow to like excited and crazy and going all over the place. And uh, this is really awesome. This is uh, like one of the one of the main features in any musical instrument. In fact, this is the exact reason that you play your grand piano and not your toy keyboard. Because, like, on a toy keyboard, you get the same sound, just getting louder or quieter, depends on how hard you touch. And on a grand piano, every little nuance of your touch is getting translated into the sound. So the same goes for every musical instrument, and uh, for electric guitars as well, of course. And this is what makes a truly good musical instrument, where musical is a keyword. So it's... Uh, not just a tool, it's something that translates your thoughts and emotions into music. And this is what musical instruments are all about, isn't they? <laughs> it's just uh, the essence of it all. And uh, finally, so the main idea behind this uh, pickups is that they are hum cancelling. So that means that they can totally handle the crunch and overdrive and distortion, right? Right. Two coils, no hum even at like extreme gain levels it just handles it with this and just so much raw power from single coil <laughs> it's just crazy <laughs> uh, so even though it's still a strat, it still feels much uh, like more at home when you're playing blues. 
but it can totally kick some <laughs> if you want to. Uh, like, there have been a couple of times when people, like, were putting 12, 54 gauge strings to this guitar, like, tuning it two steps down, and it was just jaw dropping. <laughs> it was so monstrous, just some crazy stuff going on with them. But to be completely honest with you, this is not just one of the last. This is exactly the last guitar that Leo Fender made in his life. Uh, the man who created the electric guitar in the first place. And it's not a guitar to compete with a classical Stratocaster. It uh, was born to complete it, to give you something completely new and different. Because it has bones and flesh and meat, and most important of all, it has this really wild attitude. This growly character that makes you urge for some more. That's totally nuts. <laughs> uh, definitely one of the finest works of the man himself. Beautiful guitar and beautiful colors. Jan Dahl really did an amazing job making all those colors available for us. So the hardest part is to choose the one color for you <laughs> because there are just so many to choose from and all of them are so good. But once the choice is made, all you have to do is just go down the link below, go to our website, click the button buy, and just wait a few days. And the most interesting part starts here, because after you've made your decision, we're going to contact you and ask you a few questions about what music do you play, what kind of setup do you prefer, what kind of string gauge do you like, uh, because right at this moment, the guitar is going to our setup bench, so our team of professional guitar technicians will set it up according to your specifications, according to the music you like, according to the strings that you use. And it also tighten all the screws, make the string height perfect for you, like check all the electronics and just make all the setup necessary to make it perfectly playable and perfectly sounding right for you. And last but not the least, the packaging. Each of us really knows what it feels like to wait for an amazing guitar to arrive. So we make totally sure that everything is packed really tight and strong and nothing can happen to it during the transportation. So all you have to do is just wait a little bit for it to arrive to you, get it out of the box and enjoy this amazing guitar. The Gentle Comanche, the last guitar of legendary Leo Fender. See you in the next video. Bye.